What I try to uh, challenge ourselves and our partners and uh, other potential companies that we're going to work with to do is to really try and bring insights and insights that can allow us to connect with our customer even more effectively. Um, many owners love their cars and one of the things that we do instead of doing focus groups is we go out on the road with them. Um, every other year we literally motor across the country together and get to know our owners. I don't think you could forget about like the human insight and if that data can be packaged in a way to share insights that we can then act on, whether it's making better media choices or trying something um, like virtual reality, which we're doing now because we see that something's happening there and, and creative individuals who um, are part of our target audience are very interested in this new medium and it's a new way of storytelling um, that we can tap into. Those insights into human behavior are what, really what drive, I think, the best creative ideas. At Mini, we try and start with our owners. Uh, they're uh, at the core, and they do have a great passion, and, and um, we allow and encourage some of them to really share their stories of um, how they have this, these amazing experiences with their Mini. So we do all kinds of different things on social and different platforms to stimulate that. But sometimes you do want to go beyond that obviously and uh, one of the examples that we brought here to the conference was uh, Tony Hawk. So Tony Hawk uh, is a partner with Mini but uh, probably more importantly he's a Mini owner and so we have an amazing uh, relationship in that for him it's all about authenticity and telling stories the way he wants to tell them and so we don't go to Tony with scripts um, we do chat often about different things that we're seeing and we're trying to communicate, but he communicates it in his own voice. Um, the first thing he did is uh, when he got uh, his Mini, he decided to jump it on a skateboard. And that thing uh, took off very quickly um, in terms of content. Uh, he actually did it as a still picture first and just sent it out. And uh, we had an amazing reaction to it. And we decided to then uh, talk further about that. And he said, hey, I've always been wanting to you know, try this certain thing. And um, it's an interesting stunt. And don't want, worry, it'll only do minimal damage to the car. And I wrote back and said, please define minimal damage. But uh, actually, we did no damage to the car. But he ended up you know, jumping a car coming straight at him um, at about 30 miles an hour. And he created these breakaway ramps and jumped over it. and. Uh, of course, as he does, he nailed it right on the first try and the video went out and people loved it. And Tony put it out through his channels, you know, so we try to let people who have a voice and a story to tell try to make these into real authentic pieces as opposed to paid advertisements. One of the best parts about my job is being able to kind of be in the middle of this amazing industry, come to conferences like Videonomics and others. and not only share ideas, but learn. I'm, I'm constantly pushing myself to try and keep learning as an individual and to try and be the best marketer that I can be. But I also realize the position that Mini is in as a brand that's always been innovative, is beloved by our owners, but also tries to work well with the industry. Like, respect the partners, try to bring creative ideas out of people, um, try to recognize when we don't know something but we want to try it and being honest about that as opposed to pretending we know all the answers. So um, I love bringing really smart creative people together and doing some awesome stuff.